Okay, I thought we'd go over the uh, these two different types of igniters. You can kind of tell the difference here. This one's silicon nitride, and this one's silicon carbide. Uh, this one came out first. This one came out later. You know, these igniters got to get really hot. I don't remember how hot they get. Who cares? But. Uh, they got to be hot enough to ignite the fuel gas, which is usually going to be natural gas. So they glow red, yellow, white, whatever you want to say. But the biggest difference between these two igniters for the service tech is one thing. Okay, uh, so these things are fragile. And that was the main problem with them. They run off 120 volts AC. You usually got a certain number of lights in them and then they die. They just break. I'll show you one that's broke, hang on. Here's one that's broken. Uh, you can see the white spot in it. That's where it's broken. I think I've done this before, uh, telling you where that, what that white spot means. Anyway, uh, what we've done with a lot of furnaces now because we're using this one. This is a silicon nitride. And it's a sandwich construction. Gets about the same temperature as the other one. But it's a little different. There are cases where you can take this uh, igniter and replace uh, this one with this type. You have to know which furnaces and which applications will do that. Because this thing actually runs on DC. And if it's DC, it usually runs about 80 volts. So uh, you got to check with, with whoever you're doing this with to make sure you can actually do it. This is pretty much taken over now. They have, I had a few of them fail when they first came out, but not many. And uh, they've been pretty good since then. Not perfect, but they've been pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go into the resistance of these things and all that sort of stuff on the next video here.